For nearly six years now, I have been studying the actions of the left. I have come to one conclusion. The left are evil. This video will make the argument that whomever influences the left are satanic in nature. If this were true, then we would see a reflection of the devil worshipping principles in the wider consciousness of the left and their mindset. In the same way, if a company has an evil boss, you see the evil reflected in the managers and the supervisors. The same way you see the ideologies of a political party reflected in its followers. But what we are talking about here is more akin and may be linked to the conspiracy theory regarding the Masons, the top 33 degree Masons and the like run the world. So the conspiracy goes. They know of their evil doings, but the lesser in statue, the vast majority of the Masons, have no clue about this. The left's ideologies are pure evil, and their actions back up this claim. They lie, cheat, commit acts of violence. They are narcissistic, rude, swear, authoritarian, racist, sexist, and bigots. They want to destroy Western civilization. They want to destroy the family unit and gender. They want to destroy private property. They defend evil Muslim terrorists. They shout, swear and argue with anyone who opposes their opinions. They are the very thing they accuse others of being. Whether you believe in the devil or not is of no consequence. There are rituals and practices routinely performed all over the world, with human sacrifice at the center. The participants hope to gain power and respect. I believe that influencing higher echelons of the liberal left are in some shape or form devil worshippers. It would be hard to imagine more misery and suffering than what Teresa says she's had to endure. And us kids would be made to do things with the adults and the animals and then a, a sacrifice would happen. The sacrifice? Uh, were these animal sacrifices? Animals and um, people. You have evidence to back up stories like Teresa's, that this yes. is really happening? Well, we have that age of child, six, five and four, giving information that ties up with Teresa. How do those children know? How do those children able to describe rituals, to talk about ceremonies, to talk about sacrificing animals? How do those children know? Nightmares, imagining it? You can't imagine those things at three and four years old, and you also don't have the evidence of anal sex abuse and oral sex abuse and all that other abuse that clearly those children have experienced and endured. During these ceremonies, was Satan, the devil, ever referred to? He was called Lucifer. Um, What did they say about the devil, about Lucifer? That um, killing the people made him happy. Sacrifices to please the devil. There was a tramp who was brought in once, you know, and he was killed. He was cut from his throat down to his stomach. And uh, they, they ate him, or well, bits of him. They killed a man at a ceremony. Yeah. In front of you? Yeah, in front of all of the, all of us. Loads of babies killed there. Just newborn babies. Or aborted ones, which were only small. 
you know, four year olds. Any age, really. What would happen uh, to the fetuses, the unborn babies? I used to be taken away most of the time, and one time the baby was taken out of me and then killed in front of me because it was still alive. And then uh, what would happen? Well, after they killed it, they would eat it. Why do they do such uh, wicked things in these cupboards? Because they're pleasing Satan. The lower you become, the more vile you become, the more pleased Satan is with you, and therefore the more power you'll get when you die. And they believe this? They believe it. They absolutely believe it. When you research devil worshipping, one of the main things that comes out is child abuse and murder of children. This made me think that the devil worshipping ideologies would leak into the wider, hard left consciousness. So can we find this in the wider consciousness of the left? Yes, we can. The left are vermin supporters of abortion and actively petition for third trimester abortion. And even right up to the day the baby is due. How many, How many did I adopt? I kill my kids. How many? How many did I adopt? I kill my kids. Fuck out of here with this bullshit, man. No, you don't. This is fucking bullshit. Get this shit out of here. Fuck. This is bullshit. No, it's not, man. It's wrong. The hard left also protects and supports paedophiles, linking straight back to the devil-worshipping rituals. Eunuchs and castration also score highly in satanic rituals. Eunuchs, possibly because Satan was one himself. The left quite literally promote the seven deadly sins. Gluttony. As we all know, fat acceptance is heavily promoted by the left. Lust. The majority of arguments and protests that are coming from the left are related to sex and sexual preferences. Homosexuality, transsexuality, carefree sex with free contraception and abortions. Greed. The greed of the left knows no bounds. The constant demand for free housing, free food, free money in the form of welfare, free contraception, free education, and free health care. Wrath. Need I say any more? Envy. The left hates success, and their envy of the successful is demonstrably apparent. Pride. Narcissism and the liberal mindset are closely related, aside from the fact that a majority of the movements use the word pride in their name. Sloth. The left do not want to work. The ideal world is one where everyone gets paid the same, whether they work or not. To be praised and put up front of any left-leaning political movement, all you need be is angry and ignorant. To be put up front of any right-leaning movement, intellect is all we will put up with. From normalizing Mao and Stalin, in popular culture to selling dead baby parts for profit. The evil emanating from the left grows stronger every day. The left commit all kinds of atrocities en masse, but nothing ever seems to happen to them, and the press keep a low profile. As soon as someone from the perceived right commits a crime, then we're all instantly tarred with the same brush. By the left and the press, without exception. A Muslim blows up children and hashtag 
not all Muslims, is the order of the day, from the liberal left. Their hypocrisy is both outstanding and breathtaking. And for the sake of humanity, they must be defeated. A couple of days ago, an anti-Trump fanatic murdered a GOP kibitabun. Boom, boom. Two bullets to the head right in front of his wife. Was that talked about? Obama did not condemn the race hatred fueled by certain elements within Black Lives Matter when Micah Johnson gunned down five cops because he hated white people. He didn't condemn that. Did anyone ask him to condemn that? Good Lord above. We got video of Donald Trump in 2000 decrying against David Duke, a racist, a bigot, a problem. He's still got to deny all this, uh, disavow. Meanwhile, you can see a picture of Hillary Clinton virtually tongue-kissing Robert Byrd, a former member of the KKK. Do you have to disavow that? No, because you're on the left.